Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at this Swift Optical Binocular Microscope and this came with two different eyepieces, so a 10x and 20x eyepieces and a 1x objective lens, so that means we can either choose between 10 or 20 times magnification. Uh, and then it's also got two gooseneck lights which we'll have a look at when we've unpacked the box. So this is how it looks when it's unpacked and you can see we've got quite a compact form factor. Integrated into the base we've got a pair of gooseneck LED lights to illuminate whatever you're looking at. And this is also weighted so that the uh, whole assembly is not going to tip over. And then we've got a single assembly here just where um, the microscope head is attached to a bar which allows height adjustment. Uh, and then we've got here a focusing adjustment rack so we can go up and down uh, with the actual, actual microscope head. And then we've got the eyepieces up here so we've got 20x lenses in at the moment but it does come with a pair of 10 times lenses and also with a pair of eye cups. And also uh, we've got a cover um, to cover the entire thing when you're not using it to prevent any dust getting in. It looks like we've got a spare fuse for the mains inlet because the LED lights are powered by the mains and we've got just got an IEC inlet at the back uh, and then there's also a, a tool to aid with assembly. So overall you can see it's really quite a nice construction, uh, really not too bad at all and quite lightweight and very small footprint in comparison to um, the larger uh, microscopes that you often see but this seems to be sort of ideal for general PCB inspection and soldering and having a quick look through the uh, eyepieces at a PCB it does look to be uh, very nice quality and you'd certainly be able to do soldering very easily under it. And the fact that you've got the stereo microscope vision does mean you get some um, 3D effect when you're soldering because the problem with uh, the single lens inspection microscopes is that um, when you're doing your soldering you can't actually tell where in relation to the PCB your soldering iron is so it's very easy to lose any perception of depth. You get that back with a stereo microscope. So what we'll do now is we'll put a camera in one of the eyepieces and we can have a look at what the image quality looks like. Right, so here we have a Raspberry Pi under the microscope and you can see that the image quality is really, really nice. We're essentially limited by the quality of the camera in terms of how it looks and as I said, through the eyepieces, uh, the image quality is actually really, really good. And the gooseneck lights provide a lot of uh, versatility for providing good lighting. So at the moment we've got it up near the objective lens but if we give it a little bit of a wider vision, you can see we can really change the effect of uh, the 3D sort of vision through the microscope. So you've got a lot of scope for adjustment rather than using a ring light uh, by having the gooseneck uh, lights just because if there's any reflections or anything like that, which you often get with ring lights, you can move the gooseneck light slightly um, and then you can see the image perfectly clear. But you can see here this is really good quality and this is basically sort of the field of view that you get through the 20 times lens at 10 times, which I can't simulate with the camera setup. You can obviously see twice as much here and that's perfect for general soldering. But here you can see absolutely no problems whatsoever. This all looks really, really clear. So at this price point, what the limiting factor basically is, is that you haven't got variable zoom. These are fixed zoom levels, depending on which eyepieces you have fitted, uh, but you have no ability to um, continuously vary the zoom level. You've just got the focus adjustment on the microscope itself and then you can choose the two zoom levels depending on which eyepieces that you've got. But actually from having a little play around with it, if you had it set at 10 times, almost always that would be absolutely fine for general PCB assembly use. And then if you want to do something much finer, um, such as soldering considerably finer parts such as O2-01s or O4-02s, you might want to switch out to the 20 times uh, eyepieces, but uh, they do come in a little bag so you can keep them dust free and then just swap them out as and when you need them. So I can definitely recommend this microscope for hobbyists used and maybe like professional use. It's a very nice price point and also the form factor really lends itself to home use. Not everyone's got the space for a big microscope setup and this does have a very nice small footprint and you'll generally be able to do most soldering jobs. Obviously it's lacking a trinocular port for simultaneous recording on your camera but general hobbyists aren't going to need that. Um, so this is really nice and obviously a lot better than a USB microscope because you don't have to rely on a display and it's a lot more ergonomic to see what's going on through the two eyepieces, see it in 3D and be able to work on your PCB in ease.
So if you're interested in purchasing this item, I'll put a link to the Amazon item in my description, but certainly it's available via Amazon Prime so you can get it delivered basically next day, and certainly no complaints about the quality of the unit itself. So I'm quite happy with this, I'm going to be using this uh, around the lab every so often. Uh, but yeah, the links are down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you are looking at microscopes. And until next time, thanks for watching.